Alright guys, welcome back. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed the Assault Mode um, segment where I showcased two builds. Um, the very simplistic one where it's very straightforward. No hockey Firebrax. And then there's a hockey Firebrax one where you can... When we pulled off to summoning three Stardust Assault Modes in one turn. Technically two because you just summon the third one on your opponent's turn. I mean both of them on your opponent's turn. So you have Savage and Triple Stardust Assault Mode. That's insane. You deplete your hand but... Nonetheless, it was still cool. <laughs> that was so cool. Um, but yeah, um, a lot of you have been messaging me and uh, want me to revisit this deck. This is like one of you guys' favorite deck that you could like me to showcase. Of course, it's one of my favorite decks too. But seeing as how the meta is and um, and what's relevant, um, you have to consider everything, all aspects of the game, because that's how you build, right? You initially start your building off the core. And then once you know what the meta is, you determine back row hate is main deck um, material or just like, um, like it, it, it determines what you main deck essentially, right? You, you can choose what you want to main deck. Like for example, right, Gamma, it, it goes in and, in and out of uh, popularity, right? But right now it's really, really good. You know, it's a level two, it's a tuner, you can use it with converter. So like it just it just amps the the consistency of this deck. Cause like converter is one of the most recent supports this deck had, right? This deck got. And uh, it lets you um, search for your junk synchron and have your, your grave set up, right? Um, and, and the fact that you can utilize that with your hand traps, whether you use it or you don't, is why it's key. Cause like okay, if you have an ash, you can ash. But if you don't ash, you can use it as part of as part of the your your um your consistency, right? So right now, I'm just going to showcase a very standard, similar to how I approached the the Asamo deck, right? I, I first laid laid out a, a generic, very simplistic um um uh, I guess a take on the deck, right? It's basically just the core and hand traps, right? With a little bit of a of a of a, a blanket to deal with going second, right? Okay, so let's get let's let's get jump into it, okay? Because it seems like every time I attempt to build this deck, um, it tends to um, be very, uh, I guess, unfinished. If I were to say it, right? Because like we want a finished product. Like, believe me, I'm trying. I really want this to work because it's one of my favorite decks. But I, I'm not sure whether it's because I'm too fixated on. On wanting to resolve the librarian play, you know, what if what if the librarian play isn't the answer? What if just having a consistent way to make speeder turn after turn more than one speeder turn after turn, you know? But as of for right now, it's it's, it's just what it is right now. So uh, of course you have your synchrons, right? You have your your um your junk synchron and your jet synchron, right? <laughs> Most likely the best tuner right now. <laughs> this is amazing. This, I take pride in that because I freaking love this little guy. Well, anyways, oh, these are German. Um, I, I, typically, I'm not a fan of foreign cards because I've had issues in the past where I had to make like reread a card, and I'm like, oh my god, this is not English, and then I, I, I then I misinterpret a ruling or a wording or the way uh, the card is meant to function, and I would get like a game loss or I would lose a, a game because of it. But in this particular instance, I, I make it an exception because I, I really like supers and um, it only came in German, the super rare. So I, I was like, oh, okay, I, I guess I can make an exception. So it's you know, really good. Okay, so these are your, drunks, your synchrons, right? This facilitates your hockey fire racks. But in this, keep in mind, in this build, I'm not going to be playing um, hockey fire racks. Similar to the assault mode um, deck profiles, I'm going to do it with and without, okay? But for now, it's just straight up speeder and just all synchro, okay? And then you have your, 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 the level two targets that your junk synchron revives, right? Or that you can like sequence out with jet synchron, right? Because you can trigger, you can pitch for a jet, specials from hand, and it's amazing. Okay, so then you have your, this is the, I guess the, the, the new addition to the deck, the most recent one, right? It lets you basically discard a tuner and search any synchron monster from your deck, which is, crazy for, uh, for those of you who don't know what this guy does this guy's like since the beginning of time when this guy's no more summon you can special summon at level two or lower from the graveyard and this guy has two effects believe it or not uh the one you guys are most familiar with is the one being used right now where you discard a card special summon it from your graveyard right but the second effect is 
if you synchro summon with it, and it goes to the graveyard, you can search a junk monster. <laughs> Everyone doesn't know that effect. Everyone gets confused, like, wait, I had a second effect? That's hilarious, okay? So that's the core, right? This is the straightforward, get to the point, that is the core, okay? The ideal scenario is go summon, revive a le uh, uh, level one, right? Level one, you can special this. But now, it, I guess you can revive this as well to give you the librarian and, um, I'll show you the little combo at the end. But for right now, that's basically what you want to be doing, right? That's the whole point of this deck. Um, and then you have your generic, just handcuff, right? Just deal with the, deal with like, pre like prevent, and then uh, try to, to win over with consistency because there's so many ways to get to this guy, right? You have this, this, and you have tuning. So, um, you're, you're kind of hoping your consistency gets you there because you hindered your opponent. Now it's your time to shine, right? Draw, and then hopefully you can capitalize, right? And yeah. Okay, so you have your triple ash. It's a tuner, which is why it's amazing, right? Because it works really well with converter, right? So if you use it or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, then I have, of course, you have your Gamma, right? Your, your Gamma is really good right now. It's level two, which is one of the reasons why I really, really like that. You can revive it. Um, you have that, right? And then let's just move these up a little bit. Get more room for the Veiler. Because Veiler has been with his deck since the dawn of time, man. Ever since, like, the, 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 the play would be effect Veiler, next turn summon Junk, Doppel, and go off, right? That was, like, the... That was the play. That was a play, right? So I guess you, the whole purpose of this deck is trying to uh, try to reinvent that type of um, strategy in modern Yu-Gi-Oh right now, right? So yeah, that's the hand traps, and we go with the rest of the deck. These are these are gonna be your one ofs, right? As your driver, because you have to play it, and then you have your one junk, your one junk uh, servant. So it's basically if you control junk monster, you can special summon this from, this from your hand, which is cool. You have your uh, one Fleur Synchron. Um, it's part of the speeder sequence. You need to summon it. Look at it, so cool. <laughs> it's another foreign card, but it's another exception I had to make because it came in super that way. Uh, the other ones are Ultra. Um, and then of course you have your Synchron Carrier. So basically what this one does is, it's like a double summon for Synchron monsters. Uh, and then if you, if you Seeker Summon for a machine or a warrior, uh, you can get a token. Um, assuming you used a, a Synchron to, to, to make that particular warrior, right? And that's the monster line, right? Very simplistic. It's some, something aesthetic about it. It just looks nice, right? It seems like it should work. <laughs> um, and that's the, the, the fun part. It's like, oh, you, it keeps your hopes up, you know? And then we go on to our spells. You have your your, your powerful one ups You have your Reborn. You have your Foolish Burial. You have your One for One. And you have your Rhoda, right? Because consistency, 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 and extension, right? It just helps you extend, right? And there was a time where uh, I was still, I was in the process of building this deck. Uh, if you guys saw those videos where I wasn't playing these at all, you know? Because I, I wanted to minimize it with the, 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 like, keep the essentials, right? Like, the, of course, these are needed uh, throughout, throughout, throughout the time you guys are aware that any synchro deck or any high sequence deck that involves synchrons, you automatically put these in your deck. That's like an automatic, like, oh, you knew, okay, they, they, these go in there. But then I was, I was trying to experiment if they've best actually that's worth it. Um, if you haven't watched those videos, um, go and check them out. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, you have your other spells. What's going to be your more consistency cards? You have your triple tuning because it searches all of your synchrons. It searches your junk synchron, right? Junk synchron is amazing. Just search, search junk synchron. And then, of course, you have triple pot of avarice because you want to recycle everything because you just go through everything and... You want to just keep doing it and doing it and doing it and just out resource your opponent in that way, right? Because like they, you do your board, they break your board, okay, do it again. That's the whole, like that's the, the strategy, right? And then you have, of course, the cards that help you go in second or just help you, um, I guess, promote you, what you're trying to do, right? Which is why you play, you may make Dr. Runa more because Dealing with rock boards or just unbreakable boards, your one junk synchron is not gonna do much, right? So you need help. So this is what this is what you just negate everything, and then resolve your junk and resolve your speeder, and then you're off. Like once you resolve speeder to a full board, you know you're gonna clear the board because you have Starlight Warrior, you have these guys at your disposal. Like you're bound to just break their board. Like it's crazy. 
And then of course you have Cobalt the Grave, just ensure that your speeder resolves, that your junk converter resolves. Um, yeah. Pretty straightforward. So I think if I, if I count it correctly, it's at 41. So it's not too it's not too over 40. So for those of you that are very <laughs> very uh, peculiar of keeping a 40 card um, count, there it is. Okay, so then here's the extra deck. Right? This is like the main, uh, I guess, curiosity of when you're building these decks. What's what's the extra deck look like? Because it's always so tight. You're always like, what deserves to be in here, right? And once again, that's all determined by what's the meta. Like, what is good? What is relevant? And are these sinkers even worth playing right now? You know, that, that's the whole, like, the whole thing we behind it. So first off, yeah, um, Satellite Warrior. For those of you that don't know what it does, um, it basically, it requires a tuner and a non-tuner synchro monster. And then whenever it's synchro summoned, uh, you can um, destroy cards in the field up to the number of synchros in your graveyard. So like you can you can potentially draw like, if there's like six synchros in your graveyard, you can pop six cards. That's amazing. And then also if it gets destroyed, you can special summon as many of your synchron, um, your synchron or stardust or warrior um, synchro monsters with different names from your graveyard. That's cool. And then Koran Gandrax, it's like Trishula, kind of. Uh, basically requires a, a, a non, two more non-tuners and a non-tuner. And a non-tuner. Non <laughs> so you need two tuners to make it, right? And you can banish three, up to three mon or, yeah, up to three monsters from your, uh, from your, from your opponent's grave or, or field, which is how you clear boards. And it flows as well. When it gets destroyed, you can special summon a banished monster. And you have Crocodile Dragon. Majority of our, our, our you, you, majority of you are very familiar with this right now. Um, everyone forgets that it has a second effect when you pop. <laughs> everyone just knows draw overlay for VFD. Isn't it? Okay, yeah, that's cute. But it has, actually has another effect. <laughs> you can buff a card to either first turn, which is cool. Um, and then you go with your Crystal Wing because you can make it uh, Omega, right? Omega's amazing. And you have your. So these are like essentially your boss monsters. This is, this is what you're trying to accomplish and get into, right? This is what you want to go into. And then these are your sequencing cards where you you use these to climb into these, right? So you have your Stardust um, Charge Warrior, your TG Hyper Librarian, which is like one of the MVPs of the deck because it lets you draw so much. Junk Speeder, uh, Axel Synchron, Crystal Quindex, Herald of the Arc Light, right? So this is like your little, like your little stepping stones. Then of course you have your Marshall Meta Marcher, and you have your Formula Synchron, and you have your Chris, your Celestial <laughs> Celestial Double Star Shaman, right? So it summons your level twos, it summons your level twos back. So your 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 Doppel and your Converters, and of course you have you can't you can't have this deck without Doppel targets. If you want if you want a, a set of your own, the link is in the description. Go ahead and use my promo code. And amazing. We need to get four because you, you can go. You can summon four of these guys. <laughs> it's so cool. These are awesome. Thank you, Clemson. Um, but yeah, that's the deck basically. So uh, let's let, let me show you a little bit of what the deck is meant to be doing. Let me show the sequence that you're inherently trying to do. Okay, so ideally you would want to go like like this, right? You go. Um, let's say for example, right? You you just have this, right? Let's say you go. Let's say you go. Um, so, yeah. Let me just get the hand up and make a bit much more sense, right? Because this is where the deck's strength is meant to be, right? It's playing off of, of uh, the deck's consistency, right? So let's say for example, right? <clears throat> you have either or, you draw either or, you draw into either or, right? You, you, you win second. You Ash, you Valor, you Gamma, right? So it's all engraved now. Everything's engraved. So hoping that that hinder your opponent enough is where you're attempting to capitalize with the consistency of the deck right let's say you have this right listen this is your hand you're like okay this is awesome boom this is junk speeder right or like uh, or, or you draw or you have um a different variation of cards right there are two card combos but the fact that it's, it's something that you, that you can consistently do it kind of makes up for it right because if if you can't do it consistently, then might as well not do it. Because <laughs> like it's, it's it's amazing that you can do a, 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 an amazing thing, but if it's not consistent, uh, competitively competitively speaking, it's kind of hard to like justify it. But this is just an example of what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's say you, you, you let's say you, you have this. You're like okay, I just need one thing, right? You draw this. Oh, amazing! 
and now you have this as a, as a pair. <clears throat> you discard those two, and you add your Junk Synchro, right? <clears throat> but you also need something in case they end up setting up something, right? So this is what Dark Lunar Morph for. So it doesn't really matter that you can't kill them this turn, because odds are you're gonna kill the board and set up a little, a little, little Omni Negates, right? So you go know, summon, effect it, right? Let's say you use Dark Lunar Morph. You, you go ahead and use that. Let's put these over here. Okay, and then this guy revives your converter, right? Okay, wait, what's that a field center? Let's put that one there. Okay. And then this makes your junk speeder, right? This helps you always put it in the extra monster zone unless there's like a particular reason why you wouldn't. But typically you do, okay? So then uh, you go like this. Right? And then junk convert has a second effect, right? So the first effect, pitch a tuner, add a uh, pitch a tuner in itself and add a synchro on monster, right? The second effect is if you synchro something with this, you can special in a tuner from a graveyard. So you can revive any of your tuners, which is amazing, right? So ideally, typically, you would want to just special this so you can end up like drawing into a Valpo and have a level one, right? But in this instance, just bring out this guy. Okay, because you're gonna want to uh, special minute with a, uh, what's his face? Um, uh, junk servant, okay? Then you use effect. For those of you that don't know what Junk Speeder does, uh, when this card is Synchro Summoned, <clears throat> you can special summon as many uh, Synchron monster uh, tuners from your from your deck with um, different levels. Okay, so already you, you're gonna summon your other another junk, junk Synchron, a Jet Synchron, and this is where you play, this is why you play Fleur because it's, it's a level two. It's a different level from what you, you typically uh, summon, right? Get that away. Put this here. Okay, and then once it's resolved, right? It, feel, it looks kind of odd because. It's restricting has been applied. You cannot um, use your extra deck other than sync or something, right? So in this build, in this particular build, it's fine because you, all you have is a uh, synchro. <laughs> okay, so then what you do is you go, you go like this, right? And you sync or summon for starter's charge, right? And then you trigger Jet's effect. And you search a junk, uh, a junk monster, right? So you go one, two, because you don't want to potentially draw onto the, the one you want to draw, you know? So you, you search for your Junk Servant, and then you're going to draw a card, right? You draw a card, draw a card. And then now you special summon this, and then this becomes into your uh, seven, right? Where's the track? Let's just pass it. Yeah, sure it is. Make Dragster, right? And then this, and this turns into your crystal, wing, right? So like, that, that's the, the idea of, of the deck at the moment, right? That's the whole purpose of it right now. Like that's the, that's the whole intention. And uh, Fleur has another effect. If it's Synchro Summon with, you can special summon a level two or lower from your hand, which is quite important um, for those of you that are aware of how to s hold onto the level to play around the beer. But as of right now, that's how simplistic the deck is right now. And whether that's good enough, it's whether that's good enough to, to justify it, um, it really depends, right? Because like right now, there's uh, there's so many interactions that you kind of need to have like the perfect perfect hand for this to, to, to be accomplished. But um, like I said before, like the whole purpose is hand trap your opponent, have Dark Ruler for like any board setup, assuming you don't have these, right? It gives you like a fighting chance to like draw something and just start to learn more and draw into these after. Um, but yeah. And then, um, so yeah, so depending on what it is, that you, what your extra deck looks like, right? You could revive either either level one, two, or three, right? So you could revive either that or that, right? Converter, right? Somebody just chose to summon this. Like if you play multiple junks, uh, servants, you can special junk servant, make another one, you know? But as of right now, that's where the deck is. And I uh, just want to quickly just give you guys like a rundown of, of where the deck is right now. Because a lot of you have been asking me. And um, I haven't really moved forward apart from what you guys have already, have already seen. Um, whether to increase the seating by um, adding more bricks to the deck. But then that will just increase the inconsistencies. But is it worthwhile, you know? Like playing, utilizing Garden Rose. 
Um, Black Rose is pretty decent right now because nuking the board is not bad at all, which is why I kind of want to play um, Junk uh, Junk Giant and I'll be able to respond to it. So like, let's say you summon with this, you nuke the board, search something, and they can't respond to it. So it doesn't matter if they have a Palooza, it doesn't matter if they have um, Herald, you know, it doesn't matter. You just, you, you, you it can't be negated because it's, it's going to be on summon and they can't respond to the summon. Okay, I don't know where it is. Um, I'll, I'll put a picture up so you can um, check it out. But that's basically going to be it. <laughs> I'll do like a little test time video for the for this in the following turn and just play out scenarios. Okay, do this on on this if this is like your your setup. You know those type of scenarios. Let's see um see how that goes. But that's gonna be it. Hopefully enjoy the video. Like subscribe if you haven't and thanks for watching.